Hello. Today I thought I'd continue on the series of things we can't do without in our business and um, as aforementioned I thought we'd talk about spare heads. Now we've all, if we're of that vintage, seen the Wurzel Gummidge programme but I have lots of spare heads. Sometimes I even wish I could fit them on my body but I don't, but I can't but they are without doubt the most useful thing. Today I thought I'd talk about my collection of wig stands. Now this funny little shape one we call I call him stubby. They're made out of wood. They've got a little bracket and there's a bracket that you can actually screw them with a, a, con, with a, a bracket to a table so that when you're in your dressing room as an artiste you can put your wig on it. Um, now in, I didn't know this at all. I have procured these and there's a number of them. One even says the old Vic on the bottom which I find quite fascinating and there's a little tiny one that's a little more stained but I quite like the patina. It shows they've had a bit of a life and then this one which is my all-time favourite and a 56 centimetre one um, which I use for taking all the images of my hats that I've created. So here they are in all their wonderfulness. Um, you can pin into them and they're, they're really rather marvellous. Um, I didn't know this, but you learn a lot of things when you do this steampunk thingy. And um, I found out from my local uh, theatre, Theatre Royal in Lincoln, which is very old and quite amazing. If you ever get the opportunity to see a performance there, do go. It's a phenomenal place. But in times past, theatre companies used to um, come and they would, they would just come. The actors would come. And the actual theatres themselves had to supply everything. So they had to supply the props and the costumes and the scenery and the sets and every conceivable thing. The actors used to roll up and take to their dressing rooms and, and do whatever actors do there. And the actual theatre provided everything else. Now, in these modern and enlightened times, that isn't the case. It's a production company, so they bring everything and the theatre just provides the space in which they operate and work. So, Lincoln, being a very old theatre, has got sheds and sheds and, and warehouses full of props and it fell on hard times it's now got new management but it fell on quite a few numbers of hard times and they used to have a regular sale of their stuff and I procured these wig stands and I've probably got about half a dozen in varying shapes and stains and loveliness uh, from them and they've been invaluable to me they're absolutely amazing. I love the feel of them. There's kind of worn calico, and some of them are a little bit where they've been a bit mouldy, where they've obviously been in a very damp dressing room. But uh, the, definitely the one that's the old Vic really fascinates me. But um, this one's got Peggy Sue on the bottom of that, whatever, whether that was the name of the act or the character or even the wig. Who knows? But it's quite, quite interesting to muse on sometimes. But yeah, so this is something, these collection of fabulous little wig stands are things that I can't do without. They land upon my stall with hats on them and various other things pinned to them and crazy goggles on and they just they just add to the whole ambience of steampunk and that crazy eclectic, especially little old stubby here. Anyway, thank you very much for listening. Bye bye now.